Hello everybody and welcome to our very first video on Hands-On Game Maker Studio 2. So, let's go ahead and begin. Open up Game Maker Studio 2, let it load. And now once it's here, let's go ahead and click new. We're going to create a Game Maker language project. And since we're creating a two player game for our first game, let's just call it two player game. Hit save. All right. Now to the right here, we have our resource tree. We have sprites, tile sets, sounds, paths, scripts, shaders, fonts, timelines, objects, rooms, uh, and then a bunch of other stuff that we're going to be going through. Okay, so today we're mainly going to be focusing on sprites, objects, and rooms. So sprites are the graphics in the game. Um, these are how objects represent themselves or how we can see objects on the screen. And objects are basically what we interact with. That's uh, the character that you move left and right, the uh, big boss that you gotta beat. Um, anything basically besides the backgrounds are considered objects in the game level. Now the game level is the room. This is where you will be placing your objects and uh, visualizing how your uh, game is going to look. So let's begin here by first creating a sprite. Uh, so what we're going to do is just right click on the sprites resource here and hit create. Alright, and now um, what we want to do is firstly name our sprite. Now naming a resource is very important. Um, there's a number of ways you, you can do it. Um, you can just like uh, for instance we're going to call this one um, or make this sprite a wall. So you can actually just call it wall if you want. Now this is a bad habit. That's uh, This is something that you don't want to do. You want to set it up with a prefix. Um, and a prefix to define which type of resource it is. So we're going to call this one SPR wall. And uh, W, uh, make that capital. Now there's a number of ways you can do this too uh, with this prefix. Some people prefer SPR underscore W, or I'm sorry, underscore wall. Um, some people prefer S and then capital wall. Um, for me personally, I like SPR and then capital W A L L. All right, but you can do this however you like. It really doesn't matter as long as you can differentiate uh, between the sprites, the objects, uh, the rooms, stuff like that. All right, so let's go ahead and import our first object, or I'm sorry, our first sprite. And uh, you should have all these sprites from the uh, lesson resources that I posted above you want to just click in there go to level 2 and then we're gonna go down to the bottom and select the wall block now if you can't see these if they're just showing up as icons um, then what you want to do is hit this little more options here and what we're gonna do is uh, just hit uh, well, we can do medium but I like I prefer the large so let's go down select the wall block hit open all right, now as you can see, you can see uh, the sprite represented here as well as here. And you might notice something called the origin. Now the origin is where GameMaker actually draws a sprite or set its, rotates, blah, blah, sorry, set its uh, rotation axis. Um, we actually want this to be in the center, so, and we're going to be doing this for all our, all our sprites. So hit this little drop down arrow here and select middle center. That way the rotation and the drawing of the sprite is done directly in the center of it. All right, once that is complete, oop, and it looks like I may have messed up here. Let me uh, move this around just a little bit. And you can actually uh, move the workspace around by hitting the middle button for your mouse wheel and then uh, just dragging it around. If that happens to you like it did just me because mine was above and I couldn't hit the X. All right, so it's X that, right click, create a new sprite and this is gonna be our player. And since there's gonna be two players, you wanna make sure you set this one up as SPR player and then one. We're gonna import a sprite, go down and let's just select the ghost sprite here. Go ahead and middle center it and close it out. We're gonna create one more. And this is going to be 
for a ball that the player fires and we're just gonna call this SPR ball one import and we're gonna select the blue ball here middle center it and all right so that's it for the sprites for now so now let's work on some objects so what we're gonna do is right click on the objects create and for the first one we're just gonna create the object wall so again you want to set up a prefix so we're gonna go obj and then wall now you see where setting up a prefix comes in handy here so say we're coding something and we need to access uh, the sprite of the wall instead of just the wall so if we took away uh, obj wall and just left it wall then in our code game maker would get confused because I wouldn't know whether to select the sprite of the wall or the object of the wall so that's why it's always important to set that and then we're gonna set the sprite to the wall and what we're gonna do just for basic collisions is set this to solid just for now we'll go more into advanced collisions later on but just hit solid on this one create a new object for our object player obj player one select the sprite close it out create one more object ball one select the ball and close it out now you should already have a room created by default um, let's go ahead and go into this and what we're going to do down here uh, we're gonna actually going to change the size of the room because we don't need a, a huge room right now. So we're just going to do 640 uh, width and a 480 height. All right, that looks pretty good. And now what you want to do to start putting the objects into your room is uh, we're, we're just going to click and drag and place it there. And then what you can do uh, with the object wall selected in the resource tree is just hold the Alt key. And now you can just drag um drag the objects into the room instead of having to single click them one by one and if you make a mistake all you have to do is highlight the object and then you can hit delete on the keyboard and it'll take it off so like say i put one there on accident all you have to do is have it selected and then hit delete on the keyboard and it's gone all right now let's do the same for our player object let's just bring it in and i'm just going to place it right there for now and if we come up here to the run we can test our game so we can either hit run or f5 either one's the same thing and this will bring up our game there you go we have our very first game in game maker studio 2 now uh this i know isn't a whole lot we're actually going to get this character moving around and firing his ball object and everything like that so but that'll come uh in the next video so for a challenge what i want you guys to do is go ahead and create the sprites and the objects for the player 2. Now what we're going to need is a sprite for the player 2 himself, uh, his own ball, and then same for the objects, create a object player 2, object uh, ball 2, and then go ahead and place player 2 in the room. Now uh, if you get stuck on this I am going to have a, uh, a little video showing you how to do it just in case. Um, but alright, see you guys in the next one.